Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. He's going to be taking the stage tonight at the Democratic National Convention. Before he does, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro will be addressing the delegates. This morning, Shapiro spoke to New Hampshire delegates with praise for Vice President Kamala Harris. She is battle tested. She is ready to go. And together with Tim Walls, who was an outstanding choice for vice president, who is going to support her and uplift this country. I want you to know we have a winning ticket and we've got a hell of a clear contrast in this race. Well, Shapiro was part of last night's ceremonial roll call with DJ Cassidy behind the turntables. It was quite the show, right? Well, the stars of day two were Michelle Obama and former President Barack Obama. That's right. Michelle Obama declared that hope is making a comeback, but both warned Democrats not to be complacent. CBS Philadelphia's Jessica Cartalia has highlights from day, or excuse me, from night two of the DNC. Jessica. Yeah, another late night for us <laughs> last <laughs> night. The Obamas said Harris, a former prosecutor, is the right candidate against a former president convicted of felonies. Harris and Walls joined the DNC remotely from a packed Fiserv forum in Milwaukee. That's the same venue where the Republicans held their national convention just last month. In Chicago, second gentleman Doug Emhoff shared personal stories about his wife, and then the Obamas took the stage. They delivered digs against Republican nominee Donald Trump. Who's going to tell him? Who's going to tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs? There's the childish nicknames, the crazy conspiracy theories, this weird obsession with crowd sizes. Tonight, Democrats will declare that they will fight for Americans' freedoms, including reproductive rights, of course. Siafa, Natasha, we will stay on top of this. Let's hope they wrap it up a little earlier oh, tonight. Please, let's, let's get closer to 11 p.m., maybe 10.59. I, I doubt it, guys, they but like good luck. They like to talk. Good luck, yeah. guys. They got a lot to say. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you so much, Jessica. Well, besides Shapiro, some of the other speakers tonight include Secretary Pete Buttigieg, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, former President Bill Clinton, Governor Tim Walz, of course, will be accepting his party's vice presidential nomination tonight. Now, as the DNC does continue into day three now, part of the message from Democrats has been showcasing Republicans who say they're now supporting this Harris Walls ticket. CBS News Philadelphia's Dan Snyder joins us live from the newsroom with a Philly connection. Dan? I'll see off on Natasha tonight. We are expecting to hear from former Georgia Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan, who had a very public break with former President Trump after his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. And he isn't the only Republican speaking out. Last night, a former Trump voter from Alabama and Trump's former White House press secretary also spoke about their new support for Harris in 2024. Then there's Philadelphia's Craig Snyder. He's the former chief of staff to Republican Senator Arlen Specter, and he voted for Nikki Haley in April's primary. Now he's formed a group, Haley Voters for Harris. In that primary, Haley garnered more than 158,000 Republican votes statewide. Snyder tells me he's in Chicago making the case for these voters to back the Harris Walls ticket. They may not agree with her on everything. That's fine. Uh, but that she's not a radical leftist. She's not the sort of, you know, Mao Zedong figure uh, that the Trump campaign is going to paint her as uh, for the next uh, two months. Um, and that if they vote for her, uh, they're not, you know, sort of selling their soul to the radical left. Uh, they are, as I said earlier, they are joining a coalition to protect American democracy. Now tonight's theme is a fight for our freedoms. Governor Walls is the keynote speaker. CBS News Philadelphia's Dan Snyder joins us from the newsroom with more on what we can expect. Hi, Dan. Hey, Jess. Hey, Siafa. And of course, all eyes are going to be on Tim Walls tonight, who is still a relatively unknown figure to many Americans. But here in Pennsylvania, we'll also be watching closely for Governor Josh Shapiro. Shapiro is slated to take the stage later tonight. The PA governor was seen as a finalist to be Harris's running mate, a role that ultimately went to Walls. But Shapiro has been in demand while in Chicago, speaking at multiple state breakfasts every day. Pennsylvania Democrats I spoke with say they're excited to have Shapiro on stage tonight and believe he'll lay out the importance of winning the Keystone State. I don't think there is any path to getting to the White House without Pennsylvania's 19 electoral votes. So I think that Josh will be able to uh, hit home on why winning Pennsylvania is such an important priority for this ticket. We're also really happy that we get to hang on to him for a little longer as governor, but he's clearly a rising star in the um, 
in the Democratic Party, in the national conversation, and he's a brilliant orator. So we're really excited to hear him speak. Now, another one of those risers who will be on the stage tonight, those risers within the party, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. I had the opportunity to speak with him earlier this week. He told me he really wants to hit on what he believes are the differences in the kind of politics that Harris and Walls bring to the race. He called their brand, quote, more positive, even joyful, as opposed to what he says is the, quote, WWE-style deathmatch of engagement, end quote, that he sees from former President Trump. Siapa? Dan, thank you very much. CBS News Philadelphia's Janelle Burrell and Marcella Bayetto are at the DNC in Chicago. Janelle will be live again tomorrow morning starting at 4.30. Marcella is posting content on all of our social media pages. To see what she's up to, you can follow CBS Philadelphia on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X.